For the Friends Are Like Shoes card, this is a variation from the Revealing Oval card. I'm starting with a card base. It's four and a quarter by 11 inch white cardstock, scored at the two and one eighth, two and three quarter, eight and a quarter, and eighth and seven eighth inch marks. And I'll fold inward on all four score lines. Then I will use my die positioning template. Since this is a horizontal card, I'm going to turn it sideways and fit the edges in between the two scored panels. This shows me where to stamp on the inside. This is what it will look like once I've stamped on the inside. Then I'm ready to stamp on the outside. So I'm going to close the card on the two inner score lines, close it, Use my die positioning template, and you can see actually I've already stamped it ahead of time, but this is what I would do. I would lay it again over the top in the horizontal position, and then right across the seam there, I would still stamp my image or saying, and that part is done. Then I'm going to prepare two pieces of one and a half inch by four inch white cardstock. They're scored at the three quarter inch mark along the short side, and then pre-folded, you can see how I added score tape along half of the strip. Then when I flipped the strip over, I ordered, or I added score tape on the back side. It's the opposite side that's taped. So in other words, you can see there's tape along the top part on one side and along the bottom part on the other. Same thing with this piece. Tape along the top on one side and the bottom on the other. Then I'm going to use these pieces to hold down my vertical overlay panel. Excuse me, my horizontal overlay panel. I'll go ahead and peel the score tape strips off one of the pieces and I'm going to set it along the back. I'm centering it left to right onto the card base and just pressing it down. So this is what it looks like. Then this is my horizontal overlay panel, and again you remember from before it's four and one quarter by four and one quarter inches. I'm going to use my die positioning template to show me where to set it in the card. Basically it's just centered on the inside of that panel, but this makes it more precise because you can actually line it up with the lines on the, the positioning template. Then, once this is in place, I'm going to peel the score tape from the other half of the tab, lift up the horizontal overlay panel so that that is the part showing. Now that I have the top part of the horizontal overlay panel adhered down, I'm going to put the second folded strip onto the card. This time it goes along the bottom and once again it gets centered left to right on the inside part of the card base. I'll press down and you can see on the back side that's what it looks like from the back. Now before I close this up I'm going to fold in my two side panels. Then I'll fold up the bottom piece Pull those strips and set down my vertical or my horizontal overlay panel and adhere that down. Then to make my card flaps, I have my two lady pieces here, and those are two pieces of two and three quarter by four and a quarter inch cardstock scored at the five eighth inch mark on either side. Then what I did is I put score tape strips, I had already done this before, on the outer two tabs. So these are the outer 5 8 inch sides of the card base. I'll go ahead and peel those off. And then I will lay down my two pieces. Right now I'm just centering them both and then I'll lay them down separately. So basically I'm matching this score mark to the 5 8 inch score mark underneath.
the two 5 8 inch side tabs are going to get adhered to each other. Same thing on this side. I want the cards to meet in the middle, the card pieces. And again, the two outer 5 8 inch tabs glued together. Lid off. There we go. I'm going to fold it and fold it and then inward. And once my two side tabs are adhered down really well, there is my card mechanism. To close it back up, I push along the ladies. So go ahead and pull it open and then push along the ladies to close it back up. I added my decorative panel on the front and a few decorations on the inside, and that's my finished card. There's a variation, or actually it's not a variation, the second version, which is the hippo in the instructions. Same thing.